the 2010 Fine Award for Teamwork Excellence in Healthcare. Gold winner, UPMC Shadyside. Breathe in, breathe out, off of mechanical ventilation and out of the ICU. One of the things we noticed in the surgical ICU that triggered us to create a protocol was our ventilator days and our length of stay in the ICU. We didn't really have a problem with ventilator-associated pneumonias, but we had to do something to facilitate, number one, a patient's transfer out of the ICU and to get them off the ventilator earlier. My unit director came up with the idea. Our doctors don't come until late in the day to see these patients, and I think if we worked together as a team, we'd be able to get these patients extubated sooner. So maybe we could come up with some kind of a ventilator weaning protocol that's nurse and respiratory therapy driven. We do very large abdominal surgeries for the surgical oncology patients. From the point in time that we receive them, we collaborate with respiratory therapy and the physician uh, to establish whether they want us to protocolize the patient on the weaning protocol the next day. All right, so looks like it's uh, pretty routine. Plan to wean him in the morning, get him up, get him moving, pulmonary toileting, and uh, should be okay. All right, sounds okay. good. Thank you very much. Hi, Priscilla. Hey, Sharon. How are you? Good. You ready? If we have a stable night at 6 o'clock the next morning, the nurse and the respiratory therapist once again collaborate to complete a readiness screen. So let's look at his numbers and see where we're at. The readiness screen shows the stability of a patient from a multifaceted point of view. We are on 40% and 5 of P. That'll work and his peak airway pressure is 23, okay. so I think we're good. Less than 30, yes. And our minute volume is about 5.6. Okay, less than 12, so that'll work. I'm gonna look at his vital signs here. I think he looks good. And if they do pass the readiness screen, um, between seven and eight o'clock they start to wean the sedatives that are keeping the patient asleep. Once the patient's awake and cognitively able to, uh, wean from the ventilator. The respiratory therapist will change the ventilator support from full support to a spontaneous mode. Once on CPAP, the trial will last between 30 and 60 minutes, and if everything goes okay, the physician will give us permission to extubate either at bedside or over the phone. This is Mr. Steck. Um, Big surgery from last night, abdominal surgery. He's been on CPAP 5 and 5 and 40 for about an hour. Nice and awake, pain's controlled, vital signs have been stable. We just wanted to evaluate for extubation. How have his parameters been? His uh, vital capacity is 1,500. His NIF is greater than minus 60. And his average tidal volume is 500. And his minute volume is less than 12. Great. He's been awake and able to follow commands for you. Great. Why don't we go ahead and extubate him for protocol then? The patient will be extubated by the respiratory therapist and that allows for the registered nurse and the rest of the team to go ahead and facilitate recovery. Prior to protocol, our acute length of stay in the surgical ICU was 5.38 days. After protocol initiation, our acute length of stay fell 24% to 4.07 days. Prior to protocol initiation, our ventilator days average per month were 154.4. After protocol initiation, we've reduced our average per month 47% to 82.5 days. You need the collaborative team. I was just one of many. I also felt the support of the physicians that I was working with. My wife asked me one day, am I gonna get a bonus for doing this? And I said, my bonus will be that the patients will um, achieve better outcomes and they'll get off the ventilator earlier.